All right, Homesteader family. So I went ahead and I invested in a DeWalt cutoff wheel. Uh, real nice unit here. And with my um, inverter that I have, the cat inverter, which is right here, I hooked that to the truck uh, battery, had the truck down here, and I was able to go ahead and cut the two framing pieces off, pull the gate out, and uh, left this wide and open. I, of course, this fence was clipped onto the gate, so I need to push this back. I need to wire tie that so the animals don't get out. This one is still wire tied. And uh, with the bale spear that I have for the tractor, I'm able to pick up the bale at the end since I got the single spear instead of the two or three prong spears. They would be in the way. The single prong is going to work for what I want. So... Uh, with this being as tall as it is, I have a second bale over on the new trailer that I picked up. I'll be bringing that and stacking it on top. So that way I don't have to put the hay in here loosely. And uh, you can see everybody can stick their head right through, but they can't climb through. And uh, that will help to lessen um, the loss of hay from it being loose and blowing out. And they can pull. And then, like I said, I can stack a second bale in here, and uh, that's going to take care of the animals. So you can see everybody's happy. They haven't had hay in four days, but you can see all the dead branch or the branches there and all these branches here. I've been throwing in the branches so they at least have the pine needles, and they also had the sweet feed that I feed the animals. So I'm going to go ahead, get the other bale put in here. Max is over here checking things out. And uh, like I said, everybody's happy. Everybody's taken care of with the shelter on top. That will keep most of the hay from getting wet. And like I said, this cattle rack thing uh, was a good idea because everybody can stick their head through and uh, get what they need uh, without getting their head stuck. And it uh, gives me a buffer zone. And then, of course, I've got two pallets down here underneath. Keep the hay off the ground so it doesn't get wet and moldy. And that's that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Okay, so it is complete. I just went ahead and set the gate up against it. It's loose. I just did that to have it there. But uh, one of the best inventions I came up with. Two big bales of hay. The animals are able to stick their head through. And uh, that's pretty darn awesome. So... I'm excited, I'm happy, the animals are happy, and I'll talk to you guys later.